Hello guys, this is going to be a follow-up video from my previously done video explaining how you can overclock your graphics card, specifically the Radeon GPUs. So, you guys have asked me relatively similar questions and they were unfortunately some problems that you guys have been running into, um, specifically trying to unlock certain capabilities of the utilities so you can actually push your graphics card a bit further. So what I'm going to do here is kind of step-by-step um, -step guide you and show you how you can unlock some of these features or show you some other programs that can do it. So here we have a SUS GPU tweak. So the first thing is um, I didn't really explain this full in depth in the previous video but you're going to want to um, enable the enhanced overclocking as well as set to advanced mode. So the first thing you're going to see when you open this is relatively what you see right here. So you're going to want to go to settings then you're going to want to go to tuning. Now, my HD7970 for some reason doesn't like to comply with this specific utility here, so I do not have the ability to adjust the voltage, which is very crucial when it comes to overclocking, so I do not use this utility, but some of you guys may be able to have the ability to adjust the voltage, most likely if you have an ASUS branded um, AMD Radeon GPU. So the first thing we're going to do here is make sure that this hexagon is not set to what you see right here. You're going to want it to be set where everything is like pretty much filled in. The entire hexagon is filled in, which enables the advanced overclocking features. So now you're going to then want to go to Tune Setting and then click this button here and make sure it's checked and then click Apply. Your screen will flicker black. This is all perfectly normal. Just let it come back and then you'll now be able to push your graphics card a lot further than what the AMD Catalyst controls will allow you to do. And another thing is once you set this, you can also go to uh, Catalyst Control Center and then you can go to the performance and you'll also see that within the Catalyst Control Center you can now push your graphics card a lot further than what previously could be done. The thing is I don't recommend overclocking in the Catalyst Control Center because it does not allow you to adjust the voltage. It only allows you to adjust the power control settings right here and some of you guys um, ask me is the power control settings similar to voltage? No it's not. Power control settings simply is basically giving your graphics card more power headroom so that it can have the capability to pull more power from the power supply. It's not necessarily how much power is going to be delivered to it. So if you don't set this to plus 20 this is not going to harm your card in any way. If you don't set it to plus 20 what's going to happen is if you overclock your graphics card and the power control settings are set to zero or actually lower than that, your graphics card is going to be asking for more power and since the power control settings are not you know, set to plus 20, your graphics card is going to begin to throttle and lower its performance because it can no longer receive any more power and as a result your graphics card is going to run at a lower performance than that of a stock level set, uh, pretty much settings. So if a SUS GPU tweak is the same as my specific scenario where you cannot control the voltage, so usually you can see like an extra box here saying that you can monitor the voltage. If you cannot do that, what I recommend is to um, put GPU tweak aside and use Sapphire Tricks. Now Sapphire Tricks has worked wonderfully for me, even for my, um, my previous GPU, the HD7850. GPU tweak at first wasn't working, but then eventually I found out how to um, fix it, but Sapphire Tricks back then also worked right out of the box. So Sapphire Tricks doesn't really require you to set any um, overclocking enhancements or anything of that sort. It automatically allows you to push your graphics card pretty much well way over above, above that the AMD Catalyst will provide. So it's pretty much straightforward on how the, 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 graphics, the graphical user interface is presented to the user. It's pretty much just like a SUS GPU tweak. You have the GPU clock, which is basically the uh, the clock settings for how fast the graphics card will process the graphical images. You have your memory clock, which is how fast the uh, frame buffer will send back the textures to the graphical processing unit. And you have your the VDDC indicates the uh, <coughs> sorry, it indicates the the amount of voltage that will be delivered to the graphics card. This is very crucial. Um, this is where you can kill your graphics card. But like I said in the previous video, these graphics card overclocking utility programs well they really have like safety measures they won't allow you to apply more voltage than is going to harm your graphics card basically so 
with my specific HD7970, I, I am able to apply up to 1.381 volts, and that's way above what I'd recommend. I'd recommend up to 1.3 volts. Um, applying this much volts right here won't necessarily kill my 7970, but it will just really crank up the temperature levels to very, very, very intense levels. I still have control of the memory clock, the GPU clock, um, and this is a hacked variant of Sapphire Tricks, which allows me to control the voltage for the virtual, um, actually the VRM chips or the memory modules on the graphics cards um, PCB board. So I can be able to push the, uh, the memory clock a bit higher than normal because I can uh, uh, apply some more voltage to it. And then the board power limit basically or LI is basically what I've showed you with the Callus control center, the power control centers as you can see here 20, 20. So by sending the 20 here it'll automatically adjust everything here. So let me show you a, a, a preset for instance. This is my overclocking preset. If I hit apply, you can see that everything gets applied here as well in the Catalyst Control Center. You see uh, 1220, 1675, 1675, and this is the specific voltage that I find um, is the good balance between stability and temperature. But as you can see, L, um, the, the Catalyst Control Center will not show you that because you cannot control the voltage in Catalyst Control Center as well as GPU tweak. And GPU tweak doesn't... Um, it doesn't uh, have its uh, settings applied because of Sapphire tricks. So, basically, uh, another question you guys have been asking is, what are the average overclocks that I can set right out of the box? Um, the average overclocks that I can I can say that are <clears throat> relatively uh, attainable without increasing your voltage, I'd say the GPU clock can be set to about 1100 megahertz. Let me write this down in the notepad. The core clock can be set to about 1100 megahertz. The uh, the memory clock can be set to about I'll say about 1360. And then your voltage will be set to what the manufacturer set it. So you're just gonna leave the voltage alone. This is for people who want to overclock essentially without touching the voltage. So it's essentially not going to run that much hotter as if opposed to you really cranked up the voltage. Um, so yeah, just these are settings that I, I specifically think will be attainable to most users, whether it be any of the models in the, uh, the new 7000 GCN family of the GPUs. Um, in terms of overclocking when you do alter the voltage, this is all going to be on your side is because all any GPU is more of a lottery it's really random what specific um maximum overclock your specific gpu can attain so i recommend to set at these specific settings that i have here and then what you can do is crank up the uh the core clock and the memory clock by increments of 10 to 20 megahertz at a time run some benchmarking utilities like heaven benchmark here 3d mark 11 uh Unigen Valley, and if you start to see any artifacts, or if your 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 computer crashes in terms of its in terms of visual, uh, just crank up the voltage a bit, and then you'll start to really eventually you're gonna get to the point where you can see where your graphics card completely maxes out and can no longer be pushed any further, and then you can work from there. And also, it's good to run games, especially games like Crisis 3, Far Cry 3. Those games really really show if your graphics card is stable or not. So, to really recap everything, if you're having problems with ASUS's GPU tweak, I highly recommend you use Sapphire Tricks's tweak utility because this is a very amazing graphics um, GPU tweaking utility because it just works. It really just works, that's all I can say. Um, if this video, unfortunately, hasn't covered any of your specific concerns or questions, please post them in the comments below. I will try my best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching this video, guys. Later.